This is episode 16 of me talking about life and business and everything in between. Welcome back to Monday Diaries. This is so much harder to do when there's someone else here. As usual, this is just gonna be a raw, uncut episode of a 26 year old just figuring it out as he goes. The recent videos on YouTube started getting a little bit of traction and by traction I mean like 1300 views. Um, but for me, with a relatively early YouTube account, that's actually a big sign that uh, people are interested because typically I get three or 400 views. So if something's three, four times that then um, yeah, it must be something that people are intrigued by or curious by. So I've found myself thinking a lot more about thumbnails and titles and, and how to get more people interested, more strangers on the internet. Uh, but it's not really why I started YouTube. I, I did it and I'm doing it just to document for myself. Um, I'm not doing anything to try to go viral or try to optimize videos for attention or anything like that. Although I do love thinking about that stuff, especially for short form video. Um, I'm just letting them exist so I can look back on them in years to come. Um, one of the recent ones talking about taking brand boost to, uh, to $3 million and back down pretty much all the way to zero. Uh, I can understand why that got clicks, but the second one in the car driving, uh, maybe it was just because people were engaged the whole time as I was driving. So I might try more of that in the future, but here we are out here, uh, about five minutes walk from our place, catching the sunset or the last of it. And, uh, yeah, let's dive in. So we just got back from a week on the road in West Oz. We were hiking the Sterling Ranges, which was epic. Um, I haven't been there for many, many, many years. And we also just hopped around a few beach towns before ending up in Augusta, which is where my family lives. So we just stopped by and said hi. Um, we were kind of like half working, half chilling. So I was taking interviews for Art of Mondays from like this uh, camp, what was it, like a camp kitchen? thing and with barely any reception but we made it work and managed to relax as well uh, and we actually had two members leave out of Mondays which I'll touch on at the end of this video and the reasoning for it um, but just for the sake of me being vulnerable and open um, and as you guys know I kind of track how um, my efforts on social media are going getting attention leading to applications for Item Monday. So in the last week, I've had 272,000 accounts reached on my personal profile, 5,838 profile visits, negative 361 followers, we spoke about that in a previous video. Um, 56 people clicked the link in my bio and we had two applications for Item Mondays. Um, no, that's wrong. We actually had more than two. I don't know why I wrote two. I think it was more like six. Uh, and then on the Art of Mondays account, we had we reached 11.2 thousand people, had a thousand profile clicks, uh, visits on that profile, 140 followers, 85 people clicked the link. Uh, there you go, six applications for Art of Mondays and uh, three new members, which we spoke about last week. So one big change that we've made with Art of Mondays is adding more layers and more complexity to get in, make it very private and gated. So previously we kind of shared, you know, all about membership and what's inside and, and kind of who's inside on our website and the plan was, or the, the move, the decision we made was to peel that back and only people who are really curious and want to know more can actually dig in and find that information. So right now you have to DM us on Instagram uh, to basically get a password, to answer a few questions to then get a password for the website and then um, that'll take you to a video and a note from me and then you can apply to kind of find out what's actually inside. So we're just adding, um, adding heaps of benefit over time and it's almost more beneficial for people not to know what's inside because what we found was people were almost making a, a, a buying decision before even reaching out. So we were getting less application forms filled out because people could see everything that was inside, making up their own decision without even speaking to us and actually really seeing what's inside. So kind of flip the switch on that. Um, and only the people that are curious are gonna make it, make it through. Also hiring a video editor. Uh, so that's someone to help on organic socials and, and may play into other things in the future. I'm currently doing all of that and I will continue to do that, but it's definitely a energy and a time suck. So the more hands on deck we can have, the better. And uh, we're also hiring interviewers for a new public reaction content series that we're doing. We used to do a lot of these when I ran Brand Booster and we would film um, 
in public, uh, you know, go up to strangers and, and interact with them and do challenges with them and things like that for heaps of different accounts. And it, was, it would go mega viral. I think we, we probably saw 100 million views across a few accounts. Um, so it's kind of a rendition of that strategy in to Art of Mondays, which is in progress, but basically paying people, um, if you're watching this and you want to go and interview strangers with your iPhone, uh, like 20 bucks a video. So uh, for those that are suitable, we want to go and find other people, founders out in public working on laptops, things like that, and just go and ask them what they're, what they're all about and, and what they're working on. Um, but yeah, you'll see more. I'll, I'll touch on results of that series when it's out in the world. Uh, and then a member spotlight. You guys love this series, where, uh, this section when I talk about members that are inside. So I've got to give a shout out to Chad Gerber and Zach Watson. They were actually two of the earliest members, I believe, or close to, uh, to support the vision. And they're both filmmakers and photographers independently. And uh, they're also working on a bunch of digital products to, to sell alongside uh, building their personal brands. So between them, hundreds of thousands of followers and it's kind of, uh, my roots is in that creative world too. So it's cool to have them on board and be able to jam out and throw ideas and uh, connect with them on that level because at the founders in our group are so diverse, but there's those guys in particular are fairly close to what I do. So that was cool. And now for the raw energy update, I suppose, I definitely got a bit overwhelmed by communication last week. I've got like between Instagram, WhatsApp, email, Slack, I see close to hundred messages every few days and it really fills my mind space. I'm probably known as a notorious uh, slow replier, even by this one. She, it, actually, I'm not, I'm not so bad with you, but uh, with most people, I'm pretty bad. And it's just like a never ending cycle. If you reply quickly to people, they reply back and suddenly there's more messages to, to get through in a day when I'm trying to focus or do intentional important work. So I don't know what the solution is other than like time blocking and, and not focusing, but then I just never get through the messages. So um, probably, yeah, make it harder for people to speak to me. I don't know, getting a, getting a PA, <laughs> something like that. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a distraction and I need to reduce it. And finally, we lost a couple of members with Art of Mondays. And the it was quite a unique situation in that one of our members uh, had a couple of co-founders and he paid <clears throat> for them to be a part of Art of Mondays. So um, because of that, I think they sort of saw a cash flow uh, issue come up. And that was like the first thing they thought about reeling back on. Um, and to be honest, it, it's not the worst thing. I'm not apprehensive about it, I think. Um, in that unique situation, they were on a payment plan because they were paying for multiple people, but typically we take payment upfront, so you wouldn't be able to offer a refund in that scenario. It's not a refund that we're offering, we're just uh, not taking further payments in their case. And uh, the two people, uh, I think that the alignment was definitely there, at least for one of them. Uh, the other one was probably more of a nice to have, and uh, they weren't you know, the most active in the community anyway, and so for me, I see it as less of a loss and more of a gain because we can fill those spots with people that are really intimately um, involved and active in the community, which would be better long-term and build a better product and build a better, stronger community. So that was, uh, that was that. I think I ran through that quicker than I expected, but I'm gonna get back to watching some of this. Thanks for being here. Subscribe if you're curious to know more about the journey and I uh, hope you start fucking with Mondays too. Peace. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. Hell yeah. I should have filmed it closer like this. It looks so cool. Do you want to film it again? No. Nah. <laughs>